Welcome back to Model Car Archaeology. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just a quick stash ad video from the South Carolina Modelers Upstate Show in Simpsonville, South Carolina. Absolutely fabulous show. I want to thank that they said there was 493 entries. And it was just it was just a great, great show. Uh, just going to show you, I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot of buying. I went, uh, I had, do, I had, well, I had one thing that I was looking for specifically and it wasn't there. And then I were, there was like a part that I was looking for, for this van right here. Uh, and I've, I've mentioned this before. So if you have a parts van, cause I don't want to spend a lot of money. I just need the roof section off this van for my Dodge. Uh, so anyway, that's just, the, like I said, I, I went looking specifically for one kit and it wasn't there. Uh, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag because y'all wouldn't believe me if I told you what I was looking for. Anyway, as far as stash ads go, we're going to start here. Uh, now, I got this from uh, Jamie over at Fast Tracks Hobbies. I purchased this prior to the show and just picked it up. So does it, it, it doesn't really count as a show purchase. At least that's what I tell my wife when she says, what did you buy to show? I didn't buy this at the show. And okay, she agrees. Uh, ran into Matt Inman over at MCV products, mcvproducts.net. Pay attention to that, dot .net. And he gifted me, he told me to grab me some parts, and I, Matt, I appreciate that so much. We all know I have wheel problems, so I got a set of his torque thrusts with the uh, separate center caps and everything. Uh, I've got one set of these. This set is going to go on the Cornet. That's, they're in that box. And I also grabbed uh, one of his Hemi engines, 3D printed Hemi. It is going on the Coronet also. So that's, so there, I've not even got to the purchases yet. Uh, next up, my buddy Urban Arder uh, came by my table. I, I was a vendor there and he said he had something for me and he gifted me this little Dodge A100 van. Uh, he built this not long back and I absolutely love it. I mean, A100s are one of my favorites, and I, and I just thought this this has such a 70s vibe. Uh, I grew up in about the middle of the van craze, and I'm working on, you know, the 70, a 70s Dodge van uh, right now. I've shortened mine down to a short wheelbase. So, Irvin, thank you so much. This is going straight to the shelf, will not be touched. Now, he did tell me that uh, he never strips paint. He stripped this one three times, painted it four times, and he just wasn't happy with the color. I absolutely love this thing, and it is gonna be on a feature video soon uh, with another A100 van that I've got that I didn't build. Uh, next up, okay, this is a purchase. I purchased this from uh, Tim, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. He gave me a great deal on it. I bought it. Uh, not for the Coke or anything like that, but y'all remember the 3D printed top that I had specifically for a Ford van. So this is going to get that top. Uh, my little warp mine here. This is going to get lowered big wheels and as soon as the hell's angels get through riding by we'll keep on talking uh so that is my one purchase uh, yes that is my one purchase and now on to the other stuff i got to i've, I've met Brian Burwell before and I've talked to him on that, but I've got one of Brian Burwell's that got fuels model cars Got one of his shop cards uh, His information will be linked in the bottom 
I uh, got to meet uh, there again. I have met Josh, uh, aka Pork Chop. Josh, I'm sorry, I don't remember your last name. Over at Extremist Models, and he has, excuse me, he has five cards, and each card is two sided. So that makes ten cards, basically. He, he told me to grab what I wanted. Uh, I, I love his F100s. Uh, well, you know, he has a lot of, but I would have felt guilty because, I mean, I'm, I'm giving out this little flimsy thing that I printed myself, and he's giving out a bit of filler. Look at that. Stiff, hard. I'm going to, I need to step up my shop card game. But speaking of shop cards, I had a few left, uh, so if you want a shop card, you got shop cards, uh, hit me up, put a comment in the bottom, I will get you one in the mail, I've got a couple more on my desk at work, but these will be going back to work with me. Guys, that is it. Uh, didn't win any hardware, and, and that is completely okay, it does not bother me one bit. Uh, got a couple of nice compliments on my little Harley Davidson diorama, uh, and yeah, that's cool. And I, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I was, I had such a great time. Oh, also Fred Henry, uh, I got to participate in his 10 questions with modelers. Uh, there again, the link will be down below to his channel. Go over there and check that out. Uh, learn some of the history of Kelly. <laughs> I know you can't wait to get over there. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for, like I said, I just, I, that, that van roof and, a, and another kit, I've, I've got that kit ordered from eBay, but it's past the ship date and it still says that the vendor has not shipped it. So I've sent in a request to find out either give me my money back or give me my kit. I, I still want the kit, just send me a tracking number. We'll see what happens. And as soon as I get that kit, you will see it here uh, because I'm joining the build off. And I need this kit for the build off. And I will be sharing that kit and another kit. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, share it with your friends. Tell your family. Tell your loved ones. Call the White House. Say, hey, you got to watch this channel. Because, you know, well, you know, just because it's interesting. It's archaeology. It's history. Okay? We're going to say that. Guys, y'all have a great night. God bless you.